Hey, what's going on? It's Saturday the 28th of September, and um, I'm going to just be brief, but um, um, it's come up on Facebook as well as um, someone mentioning it here on, on my YouTube channel about um, Robert Fripp um, contacting um, Bowie's people regarding his contribution to um, Heroes and some other stuff. And how he would like to be considered a featured artist, if I understand that correctly, so that he can be, um, I don't know if it's necessarily about the money for Robert. I'm going to tell you this much, you know, as a, as a musician, and based on how I found out about publishing and what is considered a song, I'm completely on Robert's, um, if I have to say, side, it's not sides. To me, it makes sense. Just listen to the record, um, Scary Monsters. Listen to that iconic track, Heroes. Robert Fripp's guitar makes that song as much as Bowie's performance. It does. It's, it's a very important part of that song, <clears throat> as well as many others. Um... Robert, um, in my opinion, deserves that recognition um, uh, formally. And um, I'll make a... Um, and this is why, partially why I think so. Like I just said it, actually, but here's something else that I learned. In the early days of making records, um, when I went to... Um, when we went to get our music published, uh, Digital Sex... I rudely discovered that publishing does not consider the music the song. They consider the words the song. Which to me just really, to this day, I, I dis completely disagree with. You know, I totally disagree with that thinking that, you know, the, 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 the person who wrote the words can be considered the primary songwriter as opposed to the person who wrote the music as well. Um, the music is the ultimate. The music is the, of the ultimate importance, in my mind. And so, um, I think people want to know what I think about this, and so that's what it is. I absolutely agree that musicians who make uh, important contributions to um, records that become iconic, yeah, they deserve recognition, you know, and payment too, you know. It's just been the way it's gone historically where records are made and producers will employ wonderful musicians and part of the magic of the record becoming a hit is the music and the way the musicians interpret it, but they get no credit. They just get paid their wages. I think that's criminal. I really do, you know. I can think of many, many instances, you know. Um, and none, none are popping in the top of my head, but you know what I'm talking about where, well, I don't know. This might seem a stretch, but when I first got into the band, The Simple Minds, I thought an important aspect of their sound was the keyboardist. And yet he was gone in early days. Charlie and um, Jim stayed together, the guitar player and the singer. But I think that the uh, keyboardist got snubbed for his contribution to their original sound. Frankly, I think the, the keyboardist was more important to making Simple Minds sound original than the guitar. So that's another example to me where I feel like to get, I bet you he said, well, I've had enough of this, you know. Here I am busting my ass, making this music wonderful, and nobody even knows I'm here. This happens a lot in, in history. It really does, unfortunately. So that's what I have to say about that. Here's an addendum regarding no effects because um, people just won't let it go. A while back, I made a video about how no effects recorded in my old house, and then they used the tapes to make hepatitis bathtub. 
uh, the single. I just want a copy. I got to the point where um, I got an email from Fat Mike telling me to email him to take care of this. Well, I emailed him and I never heard anything from him. I just got an email this morning from NoFX's manager. So maybe I will receive a copy of the record um, eventually. It's not a big deal, really. It's just like, well, I mean, if the record was that important to you that you're going to name a book after it, you know, and you made it in my house and I did it for free, yeah, give me a, give me a copy. On top of that, as I said in the book, uh, it was all I could do to keep the guys from wrecking my house. It was a big party. Okay, so that's hopefully going to happen here. I'd love to receive a copy of the single. I'd love a limited edition colored vinyl. Of course, those are probably all gone. Okay. So that's what I want to share this morning. I'm going to keep it short. I had one more thing I wanted to say. I always have more to say. I'll just keep it like this, okay? <laughs>